You've got your output shaft here. This is going to your rear. This is going to your front. So the rear, we can actually just take and pick up on that. We've got a seal that's going to come out with it. We've also got a bearing here and here. To remove these gears, you need to remove that nut on the end there. I can tell you a size here in a second on that. All right, there is our rear output shaft. I'm going to set that aside. I'll give you a little more details on that here in a bit. I'm going to remove this idler gear. Keeping in mind, we've got a washer down below there. Both sides of this gear look identical. I don't think it matters which direction goes in first. We've got our crankshaft now that we'll set this motor up and we'll just tap the other side of the crankshaft out and that'll push that crank out. And then our prop shaft, will get that removed as well. All right, finishing up on the King Quad here, I'm gonna remove this uh, rear prop shaft from the actual uh, output shaft here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well as remove this gear out of our transmission. Our crankshaft, we pulled out. We just tapped that out with a rubber mallet here. We've got our other balancer that we're gonna set with our uh, other balancer and gear parts. Your bevel gear here that I showed you is gonna be a 27 millimeter socket, and that's gonna be on here. What I like to do, again, is grab the other side here Otherwise, if it's just going to spin, it's not going to do any good. So you've got to actually have quite a bit, of, pretty good grip on this one here. And then we can remove this. So spin that right off of there. If you don't have an impact, it's going to create quite a challenge removing that one. Uh, that's why we prefer this DeWalt 20 volt uh, impact here. We can go ahead and now slide that gear off there and then our shaft will slide through the other side our shaft is off i'm going to set our crankcase aside there we're done with, done with that side for now i'm going to put this gear back on here washer spacer came off of this side take that nut throw it back on there Okay, that is half of our bevel gear. Here's the other half. To remove this side, uh, you need to remove this nut here. Bigger than a 27, that's all I'll say. I believe it's probably a 32. Remove that nut, this will all just slide off of here. These two gears need replaced together. So you don't want to replace one without the other. So I'm gonna set this aside. I've removed this band here. And then what you can do is actually pull this shaft out of there and there's a little bit of a seal here all right i've taken i've pried this boot back a little bit there's a uh seal that's right here i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from where you are but that's going to kind of hold this on it's going to hold that shaft in there so now we're able to pull this shaft out now we've got a couple different options here obviously unless this joint is bad there's no reason to take this all apart um, but i'm going to show you what it looks like underneath of here. And then I'm gonna point you to a couple other videos where we have replaced prop shafts and U-joints. And there's really no use in me doing that because this joint is good, this boot is good. And I just wanna show you what it looks like underneath of here. So be really careful if you are using a pick here because uh, you don't want to rip that boot. It actually would be better using a screwdriver if you can get underneath of it there. A little bit like removing a tire off of a motorcycle. You just kind of kind of work it around there. It's a very stiff boot. Okay, we got it off of there. Now there is our joint. Like I said, we've done several other videos on removing this yoke uh, off of the machine, replacing this U-joint, and then removing that nut there. So if we need to do that, we can. If you guys need me to show you how to do that, make sure and let me know. We can get that done for you. So I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna go to the front prop shaft now at this time. All right, we have uh, what looks like a similar situation here. So we've got our boot here. We've got all this joint assembly here. What I'm gonna try to do is remove the boot from this uh, right up against the motor here. You can use a flat or a Phillips screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket to remove this clamp or loosen it up at least. What we need to do is get to these Allens here. So that's what's holding this shaft in. 
So I'm gonna get behind here. Once that boot, once that clamp is off of there, these boots are very, very thick, very stiff. So I'm trying not to rip it here. And there's a lip on this cup that makes them a little difficult to get off of there. Okay, that is off. Now we can get in here and get these uh, Allens out of here. But really, I'd like to get this joint removed. It's going to be the same situation as we had in the back. You've got to pry this, and then we've got that O-ring holding this up here. So, all right, so once you get that boot pried up, what I'm going to do is take a hammer, get in there, and don't, don't tap on a groove where your boot is going to sit. There should be a cutout, and I'll show you exactly where to pry once I get this off of here. But if you give it one good shove, it's like a, a drive shaft would be or an axle on an ATV. It's got this little snap ring in here that kind of centers itself, so it just takes a little bit of force uh, to give it a shove in there. There's a little bit of a cutout on either side of this yoke, this side and that side there. Either side, you should be able to um, get your screwdriver in there and just tap on it. It shouldn't take much. If you don't get it on one side, turn it over. You can see the same thing over on this side. Another groove there, another cutout for you to get in. So this is the front. Now what we're able to do is get in here with our Allens and uh, undo this. Now if all we're doing is replacing the U-joint again, again, link below for those videos. Um, I'll show you how to remove those. Five millimeter Allens here. Okay, we got all of those Allens removed for our front coupling here. Then we should be able to just take and, and pull that out. There'll be a seal right here that should seal up um, anything from coming out of your crankcase. All right, pull that out. That's as far as it'll go. Flip it over and you can see there what needs to happen. It just needs to be lifted up. Then you can take, set it down in there and then pulled out the rest of the way. That's your front drive shaft there. That's your output there on the King Quad 750. Like I said several times in this uh, video throughout, the King Quad 450, 500, 700, and 750 are all gonna have uh, almost identical process to all these parts so you can 